In this video, I'm going to show you how to do your calibration curves. I'm going to be using Google Sheets because we use Google Classroom, um, but you can accomplish the same thing in Microsoft Excel. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to enter the data that I collected in the lab. So I need two columns. I need one for concentration and I need one for absorbance. Okay. Now we didn't actually measure this in the lab, but when we did our blank, um, that was a concentration of zero and the absorbance was zero. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and enter that one first and then I'm going to enter the rest of my data. This is sample data, so you want to actually use the data that you collected during the lab. So now that I have my data entered, I am going to highlight this and I'm going to go to insert, chart, and there's all of my data plotted. Okay, so you should have absorbance on the y value, or sorry, y axis, and you should have concentration on the x axis. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert a trend line. So to do that, in Google Sheets, I'm going to go to Customize, I'm going to go to Series, and I want to scroll down to Trend Line, and I want to check the box for Trend Line. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down just a little bit further because I need the equation. I need to find the slope of my trend line. So where it says Label, I'm going to click that menu, and I'm going to go to Use Equation. Now on the graph, you'll see the equation displayed and the value in front of the X is our slope because it's in the form Y equals MX plus B. The M is going to be our slope. So 0 0.0609 is the value that we're going to need here for our calibration curve. 